good evening this we have lecture number 4 so i have considered same problem that is 170 by 10 and that we are going to use as a tension member and we are interested to design welded connection and weld size is given as 6 mm so we have step 1 given data step 1 we have given data and then in this we have angle 175 10 then area of this we have 1650 then weld size 6 mm so this data is given now we have step 2 we have to go directly welded connection then we have weld strength per millimeter weld strength per millimeter which is equal to we have area of weld into allowable stress into allowable stress now area of weld we have throat thickness into length of weld and allowable stress that we have f u upon root 3 gamma m w this is allowable stress and we will substitute the value sorry this is weld weld strength we have not per meter because we have multiplied by area now length we do not know and therefore we will find weld strength per millimeter and here we have throat thickness into allowable stress f u upon root 3 gamma m w and now therefore we have weld strength per millimeter so we have 0.7 into s into f u upon root 3 gamma m w and we will substitute the values we will have 0.7 into 6 into we have this value f u for weld 410 upon root 3 into 1.25 and we have this value that is 795.36 newton per millimeter now we have total force so again we have to go for t is equal to td g equal to ag fy upon gamma mo and we have calculated this value that is 1650 into 250 in last example we have calculated and we got this value as 375 kN and therefore total weld length required total weld length required equal to 375 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 795.36 and then we will get this total weld length that is equal to 471.48 mm now we will have connection in this fashion i will show you
So we have this gazette plate. And then if you will draw section of this, then we have section in this page. And we have welding over here. So here if you will see, then you have L1 over here. So we will change the color so that it becomes easy for you to understand the things. So we have this will be my weld length Alvin. Alvin. And this I have my weld length L2. And centroid is here. And if you will see that I am saying centroid, that is CZZ. And we have this value of CZZ, 31.9 millimeters. CZZ or CXX, 31.9 millimeters. So we have force over here. Tensile force we have seen. We have this force as 375 kilonewtons. And now we have to find value of L1 and L2. So now I can take moment about L to zero. So we have moment about L to zero. Moment about L to zero. And then we have this per millimeter length. We have already calculated this value 795.36. Newton per millimeters. If we multiply by L1, this will be force, and we are taking moment about L2. So this will be, this value will be 795.36 into L1. So we have 795.36 into L1. This will be force or strength of weld multiply by. Distance, we have this distance, which is 100. Always we are going to connect longer leg, if not mentioned. Then into 100, and that is equal to 375 into bracket 100 minus 31.9. And therefore, if we will calculate this value, then we are going to get value of L1 as 321.08 millimeters. So provide L1 325 millimeters. Now total length we have calculated. We have total length 471.48. So we have 471.48. And therefore L2 is equal to L minus L1. 471.48 minus 325 and we will get this value as 471.48 minus 325 146.48 millimeters and therefore provide L2 provide L2 150 millimeters now you can have, you can take moment about L10. And then we have this value 795.36 into L2. So we can go by this 795.36 into L2. This will be strength of well multiply by 100, and that is equal to. 375 into 10 to 3 into 31.9. And if we calculate this, then we have this value that is equal to 795.36 into 100 and multiply by 375 to the power 3 
multiply by 31.9 and it comes 150.4. So we are very close. So you can use any of this and by this you are going to get answer for this. And now we have 11. This value we have equal to. 325 millimeters. And L2 we have 150 millimeters. So this is my welded connection for the given angle. So this is about your welded connection. So if angle is given and force is not given, then you have to find TDG and you have to design the connection for TDG value. It may be bolted or it may be welded. So now we will stop here only. Thank you.